1996, there wasn't a playbook that explained how to recreate a natural ecosystem. But Wilmington District biologists and engineers worked together with other resource agencies to come up with a near-perfect formula. Sixteen years later, this marsh ecosystem has held its own against hurricanes, tidal changes, and other factors that threatened its survivability. Wilmington District marine biologist Chuck Wilson says that an abundance of oysters and other shellfish, crabs and small fish, means that the marsh has developed better than anyone had expected. We provided uh, Mother Nature the, the building blocks and then we allow those natural processes to occur in this site um, and for the site to mature in a way that, that um, Mother Nature intended. The marsh is a living laboratory for biologists to study at any given time. 16 years is a relatively short time for an ecosystem to develop, but it has allowed biologists to monitor specific areas of the marsh to get a better understanding of how a system like this sustains itself. Because of its age, there are few examples of an ecosystem design that are 16 years old. And so, um, again, this is a, is a great place to, to look and, and be able to look back and see how these, these sites um, develop over time. What began as a concerted effort to replicate Mother Nature has blossomed into a thriving, sustainable ecosystem. And it has served as a proven template for other U.S. Army Corps of Engineers designed and built sustainable ecosystems along coastal North Carolina. Hank Husingfeld, Moorhead City, North Carolina.